Hi guys. My name is Lindsay. I am from Little Spout, Sprouts Merrimack and I originated in Little Sprouts Concord and my son Maximus and I are going to show you guys some really awesome uh, arts and crafts activities today. They're super easy and um, we did them with materials that we're sure that you guys have laying around your house. Um, cardboard, string, tape, just the bare essentials. Um, and we're gonna have a lot of fun with it. The first one is a STEM project and the parents can help out a bit uh, kind of constructing it, but the kiddos can join in too, absolutely. And afterwards, they'll have something really cool to play with going forward. So it's kind of the gift that keeps on giving. And uh, our second thing is going to be uh, string process art. And it turns out really beautiful. And it's such a blast. We got super hooked on doing it. And you're going to want to keep a stack of like printer paper or something with you so that you can just keep on doing them because we couldn't stop once we started. All right, oh yeah, here we go. Maximus is showing you right now some of our beautiful string art. And honestly, any age can do this. This was so easy and it turned out so cool. We could not stop. We must have made 50. So we're gonna get started and show you our crawlers, cardboard crawlers. And Maximus, do you want to do a little demo for me yeah. with the rocket ship one? I'm gonna turn you around and Maximus so, is gonna show you. With this one, um, we're just blasting it up. The little kids can just like put your, your arms out. And you can just, the rocket ship will blast, blast off to the moon, which kind of spun around. So this is fun. You can build it with them. All you need is cardboard. For your base, you can paint it. You can color on it. You can do really anything you want. You can decorate it with whatever you'd like. Go to town, let the kids go wild. And then string of any sort, really. Um, you want it to be kind of durable. Uh, you can use yarn. Eventually it will probably Break, fray a bit from use, but that's a good thing because it's a lot of fun. We did this one for our toddlers because all they have to do is pull the two bottom strings and it shoots right up uh, because we have it knotted at the top. Another one that we have where you just hook it onto something without tying a knot of any type is more of a crawling one. And we did a little monkey. And Maximus, if you can see, is crawling. It takes a little bit of practice, but it is a ton of fun, and it really gets kids thinking. You can experiment with the angles of the straws, and, and you, you want to go out too. Yeah, if you pull a little bit outwards, it as you alternate, it helps your character crawl up. I mean, you can do anything. You can do a spider crawling up to its web like Eric Carl. You could do a bumblebee to a flower. We were racing them because we are having a lot of fun with that. So we even created a little Maximus. And we'll have to do a mom so that we can have some uh, race offs. But this was a lot of fun. We built them and we spent an entire evening 
just racing them. And really, you just hook them onto anything around the house. You cut up straws and tape it onto the back. Mm-hmm. And that's really all it is. If you don't have plastic straws, because I know that that's... It's a hard thing. Yeah, that's kind of one of the big no-nos nowadays. Uh, you can use tube pasta. You can even take some pasta, yeah. Squir um, circle pasta. packing tape and put it on paper, layer each side, and just kind of cut a roll out and tape it. Um, anything for the string to go through. You're going to want to kind of have it at an angle for the ones that you want to crawl. And remember, there's no knot at the top. And then for the ones that you want to just shoot upwards, where the kiddos just pull them from each side, you want a little knot at the top and you just pull each side and it'll go right up. Um, on to our string art. painting. So process art is one of my absolute favorite things to do because it just leaves it up to the kiddos' imaginations to go absolutely wild. And that's what art's all about. So, it's about experimenting and trying different things and just really getting in there and enjoying the process, seeing what you can create, and being amazed with your wonderful product. Oh, oh there goes my blue paint. That's okay. There's so, still some left. Oh, oh, yep, that is We'll just flip this and grab a new magazine. This can get a little messy. Well, we also did some on tissue paper and then modge podged them so that we could create some little sun catchers, which turned out pretty cool. So, this might look a little tricky, but it's really not. I'm gonna grab you some thread marks, miss, and you have a whole stack of paper right here. Yeah, uh, there's two over there. Perfect. All right, go ahead and set yourself up, and where did that embroidery thread go? You can use yarn, you can use string, you can use embroidery thread, really anything that will create a string-like pattern. Here we go. Where did the scissors go? Oh. Right under that chair, perfect. So Maximus is gonna do a demonstration for you guys. Oh, for the paint, important part. Uh, any, if you have watercolors at home, like the liquid watercolors, that would work great. Uh, um, I yes. didn't, so that I, I just mixed a little bit of uh, regular paint with some water. You want it to be kind of, uh, soupy um so that it can spread thinly and not just be and, um, clumped clumped this this yarn is kind of a little harder to cut than, okay um, do you want to hold the it? phone for me for a sec okay. then i'll snip some pieces for you yep perfect you can show them some of our other ones if you want in the meantime where did all our other ones go uh, oh those are but this is this is great don't worry about how it's going to come out um what you can do with the little ones the older kids can help you dip it in the paint um you can do that with the little ones or if you'd like you can just here. have them lay oh maximus is going to show you some of ours we really couldn't stop doing it once we started it's so fast and easy you can have the Older kids help you lay bits down all over the page, wherever they want. You cannot go wrong. You cannot go wrong with process art. You cannot go wrong with art. Or if you have some real little, you can lay the strings all over the page. And when you put the other piece on top, just make sure you're always leaving um, the end hanging out. So that you have something to pull and invite them to come and pull that string. They'll be amazed at the results. All right, cowboy. You want to start? Um, so what you do is you take like any type of string and then you can you dip it into any color you really want. Right now I'm going to go with the pink. 
so you're just putting it in here. If you have plastic spoons, just put it in there and you can like dip it, like make sure all it gets all on there. And then you... And an important part, yeah. Like, then you can do it with your fingers or gloves. You want to make sure you get the excess off. Don't squeeze it completely off, but yeah. make sure that you get all of that extra kind of drips off. It makes a big difference. And then you just like loop the loop kind of. Oh. And then you just make your way to there. And you can lay a whole bunch down at the same time if you'd like. I've seen people do it with just one string. That can be a bit tedious, especially with small so, children and, and personally to, myself to, um, worry about all the um colors being matched up because it's just going to turn into one cool thing no matter what it is it really does it's pretty amazing so you don't have to do like red and orange and you can't do like purple you can do any colors combined of Very nice, buddy. You want to do one more? You want to pull that one out first? All right, going for another. Do it up. Let me help with that. Team effort here. And you can put, like, if you have any Play-Doh and you have these circle things. To, like, yeah, I'm sure none of you know. have these ridiculous circle things. Yeah. We just didn't have any cups on but hand. But if you actually <laughs> do for some reason, um... You can put Play-Doh under it if you have some. Uh, <laughs> to, to keep them sturdy. Stick. I mean, the first time we did it, the red got a little crazy. All right, so you're going to want to lay another piece of paper. On top. On top. It's good to have a magazine or something that you're not too partial to underneath. And then get another heavier book. Heavier. And then just place it on top. And you don't even have to pat it. Sometimes you might want to do it. <laughs> and then and just, easy peasy. Just pull it out. And just like put it on. If you have plates, just lay it on You might need somebody to hold it for you. Yeah. Oh the book. You got it. Yeah, so keep going. Go for it. There you go. All right. Let's see. Let's fix one. Just one more. Perfect. Oh, boy. I'm excited. And it's always different. You never know what you're going to get. So it's a big surprise. We also suggest kind of laying something yeah. down before you do it. Here it is. Wow. That is so cool. Look at that. That's un like that's something I would put on my wall in a heartbeat. And Not that can, I don't put all of your stuff on my wall. You, but. you have doubles too. Like if you want to give one to your friend, you always have another one. Absolutely. Very cool, buddy. And then it, they just, like, dry. There's no wetness. Like. Yep, they dry pretty quickly. You can do any types of patterns. You just don't want to touch it, like, just ex exactly, but... Um, Experiment, explore, have a blast with it. You're really, you're not going to be able to stop once you start. Um, and try it with different, try it with different mediums. Colors. You want to do one more for them? Yeah. All right, Maximus is going to do one more for you. I actually was planning. And then we're going to close up our session. But this is, this is something that we're pretty excited about, and we're probably going to keep on doing for the rest of the day <laughs> and, and a couple more races once I get my mom crawler ready. So this time, you can even do 10, 6. Yeah. Videos. But right now, I'm just going to do 2 this time. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, so you can use tempura paints, anything really, acrylic, whatever you've got on hand. Just, just thin it up a bit with some water and... Yeah, and like, you, sometimes you don't even have to... Um, That's it? You, you don't even have to use um, a new thing. You can, if you want the same color, just pick it from your plate or whatever. Yeah, we were reusing a lot of our strings just over and over for the same... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once they dry, they're like strips of metal, though. <laughs> they do harden up. That's a big one. Remember to uh, to ah. clean it off. Clean it off. Oh, the drippies. There you go. That's why we have plastic. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you have to use your thumb to do it. Yeah. Very cool. Well, this one's gonna come out with a big red dot. Oh, that's hey, it adds to it. It's art. And then, hmm, which one should I try? Should I try maybe purple or green? I'm gonna go with purple. And you guys can all do this at home. I mean, if, if my eight-year-old can do it, I mean, he's pretty amazing, but if he can do it, you, can. you guys can all do it. And like I said, if you just lay out a bunch of strings or have your toddler help you, uh, preschoolers, stuff can probably do that on their own. Um, toddlers can too, but you can just invite them to pull the strings from the edges that you've left out. It's pretty... Uh, Pretty enticing Pretty for them easy. to just come over and just give that string a yank. And so then you've you created. To, sometimes you'll have this. Yeah, and that's okay. There's no mistakes. No mistakes in our. Ah, Absolutely. And then this is something that you can honestly say that you and your family created together and hang it on the wall or send it to family or make a card out of it. Pull the, the strings out. It is fun. And that's what it's all about. It's the process. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the Mod Podge. <laughs> it's dried. <laughs> Oh, let's see. This is so okay. exciting. I love this part. It's okay. the most exciting part. Too far. What have we got? A oh, masterpiece. Woo! Look at that. That is gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Red dot. How this cool. This is pretty blank. I like it. I like it. It adds character. I mean, that's just incredible. You're going to want to make a ton of these. So enjoy, guys. And we really hope that you have fun with this. And we're so glad that you joined us. And we really want to see if you guys go and make any of these. If you have any family races with your crawlers, what you create. Or if you do any of these wicked cool string painting process art post it we want to see them we all want to see your gorgeous works of art have fun with it though that's the number one rule it's the only rule with art so thanks for joining us take care bye